random card swapped in for the third keeper. And for the next deck, he's gonna go with, I'm gonna guess Mage. But it's kind of boring. What's up with people not picking anything but Paladin and Mage Rogue? People are boring, man. Yeah. Never YOLO the middle choice. Either. I would have I taken see. Priest, like, all day. Um, I like Priest. Probably Dark Skill Healer. Yeah, probably. Uh, da, da, da. Uh, that's a pretty How's tough How's in Arena? Pretty it's, good? It's good if you can get Scientist or Kirin Tor Mage. Um, otherwise, it can be so really tough to justify. Now. Yeah. Oh my god, he's gonna pick <laughs> four hand? I actually think Arcane Explosion with all the Paladins is okay. Uh, I would be happy with that. Okay. Yeti or Torch? Yeti, probably. Torch is great. It's, it's hard to say no. Okay, well, well never mind. There never we mind. go. Okay, picked up an even we'll better future. four drop. Conjurer. Another Yeti. Nice job, Strife Crow. Uh. Cold Art Drake is absurd in Arena. If they don't deal with it, you win pretty much all the time. He already has. All right. Another ooze. He has six more cards he can see while picking. Dark Iron Dwarf's the best card here. Probably, yep. Yeah. I actually don't know why he's hesitating. Because uh, he's thinking, what if I play a Jouster and it's a zombie chow? But then he actually thinks for a second and realizes that's not worth it. Spider Tank, he doesn't have any threes either if you look down. At the curve. Made of the Lake with Fallen Hero and Kaldara Drake <laughs> could lead to some really janky turns. Uh, if somehow he lands it in Arena. But he might want more 2-drops. Oh, okay, he goes for the 2-drop. That's boring. That was very boring. Yeah, very boring of Strike Rogue there. Yeah. Uh, he, he wants a Mad Scientist or something, huh? Kieran Tor Mage, Mad Scientist. So that's the last card he's going to know is... Uh, okay, as he picks. For the middle card, at least. Another tape in the middle, down. And Raven Holt's a really good late-game drop. The Wild Pyro with Double Arcane Explosion is super sick, though. Yeah, so he can see... Now he can't see. Okay, that's it. So, middle card is going to be hidden. though he has a water alley, that's always good. Uh, mm, tiger's good. Y you can't risk. T you don't know, you know, pass up a tiger, you might get something Yeah, I'd be really surprised. Terrible in the middle. I'd be surprised if he passed the tiger. Um, oh! Okay. Eh, probably I take, still like probably just take though. the Starman Champion. It's very good. It's a very good card in Arena, right? Like, you wouldn't expect it necessarily to be as good as it is. But it's a huge threat that also buffs everything else you've got. Oh my god. Dragon. What's up with these mages? Oh, I keep getting bad cards in the middle. Oh. Come on, good card in the middle. Yeah. <laughs> Ice Rager. Ice is Ice Rager is actually okay in arena. Um, yeah, I mean, at least it doesn't die to pain. <laughs> no, it's it's pretty okay in arena. I yeah, I can believe it. It could trade with like an like evil. I'd be happy. I'm actually it, it could kill an evil. Heckler. It kills a yeti. It kills a yeti. Yeah, it kills things. It kills everything. It likes killing things. Oh my god. Strifro just keeps getting playable cards on this, like the the spots he can see. Wow, okay. Mm. I mean, he's got a ton of fives, right? So he doesn't want to, like, he's got Conjurer, Dark Skill, Stranglethorn, Venture Co. The five curve looks really heavy already. And his question is do I get to turn five consistently enough that it's worth taking more of those late games? Because, like, four Sank Max, again, looking very quick. If clunky. he could see, do you think the Toad was the best pick? Yeah, I think it was. Toad was better. And in this case, I think Elven Archer is perhaps better because he's got a ton of mid late. Um, but it's really. A difficult call to make. He might go mid. <laughs> go middle. Do it, Strife! Oh, he doesn't do it. Oh, YOLO middle. Nah, you gotta go Kazan. YOLO middle. Y you can see that? Oh, it's so good. I like that. That card in the middle is so good. Yeah, you just have to kill it with your own Cult Master. And oh! oh! <laughs> he has no idea what he got. <laughs> Alright, so he has an angry chicken, guys. <laughs> Oh, Everyone's loving it. Oh, this is good. <laughs> no way, that didn't happen. Yeah, everybody's chilling. We, we have to cast. 
So we have to be very we have serious. We a hard life in here. Yeah, you know what? I think they should bring us bagels. What do you think? I like a wheat bagel without cream cheese, please. I like it with cream cheese. And I'd like another tea. Green tea? Yeah. Not too much caffeine. Yeah. Good enough. Thanks again to Fanatic Gear, Twitch. And uh, Jelly Belly Bean Boozled. For sponsoring the tournament. Yep. And uh, we have absolutely no idea how long until the next game. I'm sure it's coming soon, though. But it's coming soon. Because we're really Stay good. tuned for more intense Hearthstone action. The next draft with uh, Trumpino on the drafting bench. He's got a mage offered to him. So I want to assume it's going to be mage being picked again. Well, I hope not. I hope Trump decides to bring in a bit of flavor to this he's tournament. He's thinking a bit. Yeah, actually this is the last pick uh, that we saw from Strive Pro was exactly this array of classes. Priest, Hunter, Mage. Um, and Trump, knowing Strivecrow's classes, might decide to pick something else, but it's tough All to right, make. People are playing to win, you know? Playing to win what? It's Kamaz points? I guess that's worth it. You never know. Yeah. Maybe you can so buy a maybe, house. Maybe at the very end of the tournament, the person with the most Kamaz points loses. And then he, just, <laughs> he just comes out and screams Kamaz. Or... Yeah, and he's Kamaz, and you just lose everything. Skamas, Kamaz, Kamaz. Yeah, and then you actually just sign a contract. And then you summon him. Look, he's right there. Look, he's he's glancing at the camera. Watch out. So Trump is uh back to drafting. He's kind of like a lot of people saw him play constructed for a while and assumed that he kind of stopped playing good arena. But his results have been pretty consistent. So Oh. Yeah. You've checked him out? Yeah, I've checked out Trump multiple times. Alright, let me let me know his results. I check out Trump. So how does he do in arena? How does Trump do? He does well in arena. Okay. Yeah. His average is uh, 7.03. Okay. What's your average? You don't play arena? <laughs> my average last I Like, the thing is, I retire half my, my drafts. Oh, hi! That's a pick. Oh, well, Trump says Trogzor is better than Dr. Boom. Yeah. Well, I'm pretty sure he's going to go for Anixia, because he believes in Dark Whispers. Looks like uh, Trump's above average deck here. Do, 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 do. Oh my god. Mm. I don't know how Trump does it, but like it feels like these mages just always get a, a playable draft. Dark Iron Dwarf. It's pretty insane so far. Double Scarlet Crusader with Dark Iron Dwarf Does is he beyond have any insane. Dragons? He's, He's got the Anixia, man. He's got it. That's not... That's... But you might take the fossilized Delosaur just because it's an 8 8 for 8 anyway. You need big threats, and if you can't find Force Tank Max, this is right. the next best thing, and you've got two beasts already, right? Yeah, but... And now four. Oh, he's got three beasts now with the Tomb Spider. And another Raptor's one with really it. really good, though. And he, he does have a, a dragon that would sit in his hand for a long time, but just one. Polymorph There's Boar one. gives him another beast, I think, for Fossilized Devilsaur. <laughs> Never thought I'd see the day, but... Wait. Polymorph Boar with Youthful Brewmaster. If he picks this, I can smell the Pit Snake. Well... Good luck, Trump. I don't think Trump is going to be able to look at the cards right at past 20. This is the last time he sees uh, the draft in the center. Okay. But knowing Trump, I don't think so, risking anything is going to be worth no it. There's no secrets for Kirin Tor. There might be one in the center later. But there's one now. If he wants to take it, he knows what it is. No, but he doesn't even have the Kirin Tor yet. I'm but if he takes Kirin Tor, I mean, my control tech is excellent in Arena. Like, this is an inc incredible card. Mm -hmm. It's hard to say no to. Oh, he's going to go middle. I think so. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Not much of a choice, even when you know what it is. Okay, now, he doesn't have that much removal, so this is a great pick. 
Cone of Cold is also acceptable. Mm. Buys him a bit of time. It's like a bad he might go middle. Over, he might go middle. Yeah, and this is a good pick too. Like Elvin Archer is great for uh, for mages. More beast. Oh, that's a bit clunky. You don't want to go on turn. You, go, you don't want to pick another four drop. That's a bad middle. Like middle is the best. I, it is the best in this case too. Here we go. Yeah. Bam. Trump had balls. Just picking middle. Not oh. He's going to miss out on the crazy 5-drop there, though, unfortunately for him. Special Knight's kind of... Uh, oh, really he's going to... Does he go for the Coda Rider? Because that card is a, a single-handed win condition in this format. If he skips it... Middle. Because he opts for the Enhanso, which I doubt Balls. he would. I think you have to go middle here anyway, right? Mm. What's the worst epic you get? Spellbender? It's still okay. Maybe he's thinking... Yeah. He's going to have a bunch of whelps on the board from Onyxia and then Enhanso Mechano them. I... Yeah. It's the dream. It's not really. <laughs> but I, I like... for one. <laughs> Twice. You just win Fury everything. Yeah. That's better. Here we go. I think you might go mid here. Because War Leader, I, War Leader at least has the upside of being a 3-3 three, three for 3. But you skipped the Bluegill Warrior earlier. And there's really not much you're going to do past this point. And you've already got decent 3 drops set up. So it's about whether or not what the worst believe. card, What the worst epic would be? be right there in the middle. That Hobgoblin? I would assume it's among the worst. Uh, yeah, very safe pick there from Trump playing the War Leader. Missing out on probably what would be the best epic to have in Arena. Um, Jules Scarab is great, though. Um, middle card here is the best, too. Well, he doesn't know what does it is. It's a beast, mechs, too. Right? It works with the Fossilized Devil Sword. And there's no mech on three. Bomb Lover is okay. But I'm Where's sure on Bomb Lover now? Yeah, if Trump could see the draft, he would be sad. By the well, Coda Rider. You know? That's what you get for not paying. What you don't know can't hurt you, though. Mm, I don't know. That's how I, I want to go through life, okay? So if I shoot a bullet at you and you don't see it coming, no pain? Hmm. Well, well, I like that mentality. It's pretty cool. Yeah, it's working. <laughs> it's working so far. You know, you know, this is like you're opening a fucking, you open a window just, there for me to like just throw something random at you later on. I just go into things with low expectations. Yes. Like you can't be disappointed. That's right. You know, here, here we go. It works that way. Yeah. With everything. Yeah. I came to this tournament expecting to commentate very poorly. And, and you've been nothing. doing a better job of it than you thought. How can I lose? You know? Yeah. Even if... I mean, compared to last time. Yeah, you've been... Uh, it can't really go worse. You've been reaping the rewards of your practice. So, it looks like uh, Trump... I want to see Gul'dan. You want to see Gul'dan? Gul'dan. He's going to go for Valero. Nobody's fun. Yeah. They hate fun. Yeah, they do say Tuck Fun. Uh, it's actually a really good card. Ogre. Yay. Actually, I wouldn't... Um, Ogre. It depends what type of deck Trump wants to build. But Ogre. it's hard to skip on a 6 drop. So good. Those are all bad. <laughs> no, Nightblade's okay. That's pretty bad. <laughs> it's it's alright. It, like, if, he, if he'd gone for Loot Hoarder, I think Nightblade was better there. Because then you can actually play... Because uh, you can play Rogue Aggro Control in Arena, as opposed to playing it for Tempo. Because if you don't pick up backstabs and Abyss, playing for Tempo can be nearly impossible. So if you decide to go for the aggro control after you picked up Perdition's Blade right away, you can do some decent work. Mm. It's a pretty clunky 5-drop in Rogue. Mm. Well, well, well. Uh, Frost Ellie. are fun. So it's funny, he picks up Shadowed Sun expecting more 2-drops, like to need to pick 2-drops, which is great. Maybe he's just... Um, but I, I thought the Frost Eye was okay. Yeah. He didn't think about it that long. Yeah. He knows better than us. Oh, Tiny Finn is the play. Combo Perdition's Blade? Wow. It's actually the best card. Tiny Finn or no It's ball. actually the best card here. Bam! Done and done. The it's cutest card in Hearthstone. Yep. Betrayal. Oh, wow. Okay, wow. this tiny fin suddenly looked even better now. Someone's not going to position around Betrayal. Yeah, well, you never know. These players are not used to playing Arena. So, Razorfin Hunter is a pretty good card in Arena, but based on the fact that he has no card draw and skipped on the Loot Hoarder Team earlier, Pilger. he might need to pick it up. Well, well, well. Pit Snake or No Balls? <laughs> He's going to take that. <laughs> if he takes Hungry Dragon, he gets Pit Snake played against him. So, if he goes for a Spider Tank. Um, he's safe from Nightmares. Better things. Boring. The, the boring... Wow. Yeah, good pick. He deserves this. He deserves this, Trump. 
Um, will I take Cult Master? Mm, I'd play Mech Warper with Spider Tank in my lineup. It's okay. Like, you have Shadow Sun Cleric, so you obviously are going to be biased towards two drops already. Mm -hmm. um, it's kind of like picking two drops with Death Rattle when you've got Raptor set up. It's going to be pretty rare that the Mech Warper won less on Spider Tank Manners. Yeah, it's going to be very rare, but it, there's a lot of more mechs that you could I pick guess, up, right? Yeah. Turn four, maybe. Uh, you have to have both. I love Perdition's Blade. That's a great, uh, Device. great thing to have twice. All right. On we go to hide everything, and Trump is going to be like, Yo, Maz, let me look at my screen, please. Mm. Recombobulator's all right, if you get yep. a decent five drop. Oh. Uh... Thunder City, again, he wants more two drops based on his game plan. Zombie Chow's excellent in Rogue. This is a bit clunky. He might middle. No. Oh, wow, another Mech Warper. Okay. I think that's kind of a given. Let's get more mechs. Yep. Yeah. Yo, there's a mech in the middle, but he's not good. We're looking for mechs in the middle. That'll be fun. He skipped a flurry and now picks up mech the... Mech in the middle. Oh. Uh, he has a sprint already. The question now is, like, what do you do with Shadow he's Step? Going, he's right? going middle. Is he's he going, going mid? Yep. What do you do with Shadow Step? There's I'll the Vice Ringleader. There's I'll other bet big, I'll bet you a bagel he goes middle. Dude, there's Recombobulator, you MC Tech, Shadow Sun Cleric, I'm SI. Betting you a bagel. No, dude, he's going, he's going to the right. Well, you should have bet the bagel in. He's stepping. I, I, put you two, I raise you two bagels. Two bagels. Yeah, but I don't have bagels. Where do I go buy those? Loser has to go buy bagels for that person. Do we have, like, someone who could get us bagels? Because right now I'm kind of hungry. Please pick, pick bagel. He's going Shadow Step. Oh, he's thinking about the Shadow Step. You owe me a bagel already. No! Oh. I owe you two bagels. Wow. Okay. Easy, wow. Sh easy shredder. Well done, Trump. I'm winning. Are you by winning? Oh, he's gonna middle again. No! Yep. Not again! Oh my god. Does he have pirates? This is unfair. Trump's rogue deck is okay. We haven't seen a single backstab in all the rogues that we're drafting. Just waiting for my bagel. No Can of this. Here? Not one of this. Not one backstab. Can you imagine the bagel now? In four rogue decks. It's gonna be fresh. Yes. Uh. There's no one making bagels. We asked like four times. Man. We did. We're so hungry. They have us in here, locked up, starving. <laughs> they, they did give us a printed Hearthstone card. Yeah, show it. There it is. Wow. We're playing with it right now. Okay. If only Drexus hero power summoned the bagels instead of the infernals, then we'd be chilling. Yeah? Alright, so what's going to happen? They're about to play. We're going to take a quick break, though, before we actually move on to the gameplay. So, as usual, guys, um, yeah, well, he has to build the deck. stay tuned for some intense Hearthstone action. Is it on? Oh, we're good, guys. Game on. So, um, yeah. Uh, good job, Chelsea. Congratulations. So lucky. You um, basically secured at least a thousand points. Woo! So like a Profit. And um, yeah, so you guys saw just now that um, was a uh, strength pro drafted Fury, Keeper of Odomars. So we're going to take away a hundred Amaz points from him. Yes. And I'm going to choose a card that he replaces with. And my choice is Ancient Watcher. Yes. Perfect. So that's gonna be good. So um, yeah. So for the future reference, for anybody who hasn't battled yet, if you want me to pick a card for you, you can go ahead and choose the uh, third card. Third card. Okay. So that's like. It's fine. I, I might give you Doctor Broom. For example. I don't want to lose my other points. Pay your points for a better card. You might give me Doctor Broom. Yeah, it might be. Let me give you Doctor Broom. Yeah. Yeah. It, 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 it
watch it this time. Come on. I, I Next time we're doing Eerie Statue. Huh? Eerie Statue? I was thinking of Eerie Statue. Yeah. Yeah. It's a, it's it's a, it's a, it's about it. You can watch it with Eerie Statue. You can call him. But you might never know. The clock on the giant is never different. Mom. Wait. Who would you be? Well, you can still lay, right? So, once again, guys, we're going to have all the winner's bracket on stream. But the loser's bracket, we're going to play off stream. Alright? So, the loser of this will play against the lay, and the winner of this will play against Chocolate. So, um, yeah, I'll see you guys later. Back to the casters. Oh, great. <laughs> oh, let's speak. Come on. Say something really inappropriate right when it turns on. Yeah, so I told her no, but she insisted and she was writing all night. It was pretty annoying. Oh my god, really? I hated it. But I mean, it happens, right? Like, you don't. Oh, shit. Hi. She has nice. Uh, oh. So, uh, welcome back for uh, Archon House Cup. Reg full uh, saying inappropriate things in the breaks. Mm. Happens. We're talking about bikes. Yeah, I like riding those. <laughs> Uh, I, I'm sure. I'm sure you did. So, um, <laughs> so here we are. Yes, as usual. So, um, what are you drinking there? Uh, Diet Coke. Wow. <laughs> we did get people to go search for wheat bagels, though. Like we, we did get them. Yeah. So we should be getting wheat bagels for the next um, next okay. breaks or so. Also, we have access to Amaz's Twitter right now. We could we could write anything. What do you want? We guys all favorite. Guys, it. guys, guys. Well, sure, of course they're gonna say yes. Of course, they're gonna say yes. Okay. Should we officially announce he's coming out of the closet? Okay. I mean, go. I'm, I'm gonna type like, "Help me! I'm stuck in a closet." Does that work? Holy! Yeah, fuck. everyone who favorites it is helping. Okay, guys. So I'm, I'm gonna post on Amaz's Twitter. Help me! I'm stuck in a closet. If everyone help him get out. Just yeah, free him. Okay. We love Amaz. I love him. Yeah. What's that picture? Click that picture. Blink Tron? No, the, the one above, right above. Right above? Yeah. Chance Morris? Probably not safe for work. Oh yeah, the Nostarius thing. Oh man. That was uh, a bit disappointing. Yeah. The death of a vanilla server. I think Chance is a bit sad. Mm. Well. So, um, yeah, we're gonna have uh, Trump play against Strife Pro. And then I think whoever wins this is gonna play against Shocky, who basically steamrolled Zelay. And I think there's already a guaranteed 1k points for Shockey. And loser's bracket, point. loser's bracket will be off stream. Yeah, it'll happen so off stream. You guys don't have to watch. I mean, Forsen already passed through and went uh, 03. So, yeah. it sucked. It's cool though. Yeah. It's chilling. Well, uh, we'll all go to the strip later. Strip? We're in Vegas, by the way. The Vegas strip, not, not the strip club. Oh, the Vegas strip, yes. Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. Do you hear they have good strip clubs here, though? And I, I haven't been. Have you been? No, I I'm I'm in a dank hotel, the reeks of cigarette. Oh man! But aside from that, it's a great place. I love okay. Vegas. Oh, we're into the game. I love Vegas for the art zone action and the card dropping. And here I we go. I love cards. I love cards. I love every kind of card. I love yeah. every card. So right. pit snake like on the opener is really sick. I think Trump's got a crazy start here. The the rogue opener from Trump is disgustingly oh. powerful. Uh, Strife Crow started with two seven drops. Not very good. We've got, Especially a, against of, a, rogue. We got a moment of delay here. You have a, I wonder what they see. Uh, I assume you guys can see. Yes, I think they can, but Skype is the, yeah, Skype is the one glitching for us. I think he drew a zombie chow. I think it looks like a zombie chow. Yes, it is a zombie chow. I think it will die to the 2-1, on on, so you have to play the lens. And I think really, like, the lens is an underrated card from TGT, because if you disregard the fact, so Keeper versus... He, he Spider tank, right? Yeah. Um, so, like, if you disregard the uh, the mini bot and muster for battle, suddenly there's room for the Argent Lens to 
see more play because Cog Hammer's gone. You lose Muster, you lose Minibot. I wonder if we'll see people experiment with it a little bit. That's an okay pickup. Uh, the fact that he has an extra charge on the lens is a really big deal. Yeah, after he hits into the Neutron, he'll be able to finish the Mech Warper with his weapon, so. Yeah. You can just drop both. Tiny Finn not gonna do much since he's already got the coin, but in cases where the coin wouldn't be there, I think Trump would Tiny be Finn very would have been happy awesome to for combo. Yep. Doesn't what work if, too well. What if Rogue's actually end up playing Tiny Finn? You know? I could see a world where you want Edwin, like Shadow Step, like Tiny Finn, and then just keep doing that crap forever. People, people never use that mm, Wisp. Shadow Pan Rider. Nobody did, no. Yeah, so, you know? Bring out Tiny Fins, make a combo list, pure combo list. The day that Murlocs can be played in Rogue is the world, like when the world ends, because they've already got pirates, so. Yeah. You know, they'd have to make like a zero cost pirate. They want us to be pirates. Yeah. I think it's unfortunate, because I, I really feel like it would have been fine to leave Murlocs for just shamans instead of giving them the pallies and giving pirates to warriors and rogues. I like it, because they're splitting the tribes and giving a little bit of everything to everyone. But that means that they're, they'll never be willing to add a tribe for one class only. If they ever add another one, it's going to be split amongst two others. Um, demons probably being the only one that warlocks maintain. And totems for shamans. Hey, there's, there's a neutral demon. Yeah, there's one neutral one. Hmm. Wait, is there another one now? I didn't even like the old gods. Did it bring anything? So many. Options. I don't think so. I don't so. think so. Yeah. Oh, well, that's a good trivia question. No, I don't think it did. It's too easy. Yeah, okay, it's, probably, it's probably too let's, simple. Let's think of good trivia questions. Uh, how many cars have two G's in their name? How, how many teeth? teeth? Don't look. Don't look. How many teeth does Tiny Finn have? Tiny Finn? Yeah. Does he even have teeth? How many teeth does he have if he has teeth? You can guess zero. So is he like, uh, he's not like a child, right? So I'll give like one, one tooth on the side or like two in the front. So how many does he have total? I don't know, like three? Yeah, two, two, three? Two teeth. Okay. He's a good try. So he's not from Mississippi. <laughs> oh, betrayal punish. Yeah, let's, let's do another trivia question. Close okay. your eyes, close your eyes. Okay, okay. Okay. What color is mind control text? Mustache. Pink. Mustache. I okay. got it? Close your eyes, yeah, close your eyes. Okay. I feel like I'm gonna get punched in the face. Um, uh, what color is SI agent's hair? Dude, he's bald. Don't even try. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, <you're laughs> no, nice try. Yeah, 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 yeah. You almost got me there. I was like, wait, what? <laughs> uh, okay, yeah, yeah. Nice try, Red Bull. Okay, okay. Wonder. Back to the game. Yes. So are we just dropping this genie? We're dropping this genie. I feel like we're dropping the genie. The thing is, there's an MC tech, so if we drop the genie, like we, we saw Trump draft, right? Maybe he's considering trading the ooze and the zombie chow. And the weapon. And his weapon. Yeah. And, and Drake. I like that a lot. Drake's going to be there for a long time. I, I really like that. Otherwise, the Drake will never get away, like go mm. away. And there's no way for you to push it off the board. And, and you want to have it before you reach turn 7. We know that SI7 is going to be pretty this annoying on the ooze, so it's going to be different. Yeah, it looks like uh, he's going to opt for the trade, which I think is the sensible play anyway. Yeah. Yeah, this Argent Lance's extra charge was a big deal, because if it had only hit two, like twice, then this Drake lived, and MC Tech and SI just did, did a ton that of work. That a crazy turn, yeah. Still, though, the uh, there's a crazy play. Tiny Finn plus double combo. Pretty sweet. I mean, all that does is kill one annoyed <laughs> I mean, it's better than nothing, and you put on like, a crazy bam, board. Bam, bam. Got that annoyed. <laughs> I killed that two drop. Yeah. With everything I had. I could see a world in which you don't do Strife that. Strife pulling out his phone. Not even interested in this game anymore. He just knows he's got it. He's already BMing on Twitter. Maybe he found that Amaz was in the closet. Let's see. Is Amaz in the closet? Like, how much? Oh, goodness. <laughs> Amaz is really stuck in the closet. Wizard Poker replied. So many hmm. options. Nicely done. Nicely done. <laughs> Hello, Jason. It's your mother. We need to talk. Oh no. <laughs> oh Jason, I'm sorry. So it looks like um Trump is thinking very, very hard about this decision because he's thinking, what if Ginny gets a buff from Kings or still Champions? But he can't kill it anyway. He's gotta kill the other target, right? If you don't kill the other target um, on the board, oh. then the Ginny benefits from buffs. Just knife blades. So lucky for him there's no such thing. So he wants the genie to kill the night blade and then he's gonna SI it. Mm-hmm. That's the game plan That's at least. Trump's master plan. 
And as you can see, Trump hearts something. We don't know what it is. Probably Trump. I heart Trump. Yeah. I would like that. It, it would make sense. <laughs> MC Deku! Nice. I like Strifeco's uh, facial expression right now. Look at that. I can hardly see half the face. Okay, it worked out for Trump. Yep. Now, now this is his turn. He's gonna be like kapow. He's not gonna kapow that hard though. That's pretty. Oh! Good. That's a pretty good kapow. That's a kapow. That's a pretty good kapow. I'll be honest with you. That was the best possible kapow. Yeah. In, in this situation, it didn't get much better than this. So. And. Well, kapow. Then. All of a sudden. Trump's like. <laughs> so this is the replacement for the Wait, keeper of Uldemon number three. That, that was, was where Trump says I activated my trap card. Yep. Yep. Man, Trump. even the genie the genie wasn't that good to steal because he wanted to kill with the SI. So that right. was it was just like if he had gotten the one one. The Noi Tron would have been okay. The Noi Tron would have been fine because it really like yeah, right. puts the board in the uh, standby mode. And he's still got the uh, Undercity Valiant to finish it off later. Uh, oh wow, Perdition's Blade is disgusting against the Noi Tron and Minibot. It's probably the single best counter to Minibot, which funny enough, uh, we still never saw Perdition's Blade played in Rogue. At least very little. Hmm. Well, it's hard to say no to this. Thing is, like, you don't want to overextend because your hand quality right now is pretty mediocre if there's a consecration. So, yeah. the, like, you really have to like to find a really good balance between your board investment and he's probably keeping answers. He's probably considering killing the war. It takes a lot, though. He does have to use a lot of resources to do it. Uh, and he takes a bit of damage in the process, but it's probably still the correct uh, line of play. Here we go, pseudo eviscerate, producing blade attack. He might lit, let the war golem smash itself into the ascension before he does anything though. But that consecration is pretty good. Yeah, he's looking for what here? What is he looking for? Like true sword champion? Oh, he's all in. Almost. Ooh! That is good! That's actually... With the Ancient Watcher! Wow, I might as well him out! There we go. This All is right. this is better than Keeper of Uldemon, actually, so in this So this is going to be right? a Consecrate, well, ancient, you... ancient Watcher, Hero Power, and the next turn... Win. Or seal the game a little bit, right? Hmm. It depends what Trump draws. Trump has Sprint, so the game's not over at all after this Consecrate. Yeah. Anything can happen. And, uh, Strife Girl's hand quality doesn't matter. Well, the head quality I mean, of Strife Crow is pretty he, okay to stabilize, and if Trump, if Trump needs to pick yeah. up like a one big thread here to put Strife on the back foot, or Sprint, Sprint would be really nice. I think he's, he smiled. I feel like he picked it up, right? Oh no, he picked up <laughs> a clunky card for rogues. Um, but it's a six-six at least, right? The moment you play it. Uh, I'm just wondering if he'll just. Nah, you gotta drop play. everything here. Yeah, you, you have to drop everything you got. Yeah, yeah, yeah. you've seen Consecrate. You've seen Consecrate, yeah. Like what's left? All right. So we we advocated for Millhouse Mana Storm instead of Ancient Watcher, right? Yeah, that would be cool. I I was uh, disappointed. All right, so we're going all in. Coin, pint sized. And now. Strife Crow needs to find a Keeper that of Uldemon to deal with that 6-6, six, six, or whatever size it'll be when he finally is somewhat able to, to finish it off. Okay. That's a good card, though. It's pretty good, yeah. So th that'll kill the Pine Size, and then he'll, hear, he'll, he'll call a hammer first. Attack the 3-2. Uh, wait, no, use the, the, the Horse Rider on the 3-2. Right two. Two, and, and then Face kills the Pine Size. Yep. Or does Face? Yeah, Face kills the Pine Size. Oh, what's he doing? He's taking more damage than he has to, so he's 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 going face with this. Okay, we got the. Is he going face with this? Slight, uh, slight misstep there, but it's cool. Yeah, it took uh, one extra damage, but probably has a a master plan. Yeah, the Molten uh, Giants are coming, you know. Yeah, you know it. Um, so the zombie child still gets a decent trade. That 8-4 needs to be answered with a Keeper of Uldemon, I feel, at some point. It's just so unfortunate for a Strike Girl that he can't get it off the board. Oh, you know, Seal of Champions would have been amazing there. Right. Keeper of Uldemon would have also yeah, he helped, but Seal of Champions would have, like, done it magnificently, because the Rogue then has to face tank 4 to deal with the 4-1 leftover, and you get to develop a 7-drop on top. Um, 
So what do you think about playing the uh, Ventrico Hero Power Let me think. and going face? So are you dead like 10, 13, 14? You'd be alive by a little bit. Things like the 5-6 dies to the 8-4, right? Like the 8-6 if Trump wants to ever make a trade. So if he trades the 1-1, one -one, then he can play the, the Guardian. But if he doesn't trade it away, then it's bad. He's gonna, yeah, he's gonna Guardian and trade the 1-1. One -one. Yeah, it's safeguard against the, uh, the rebuffing. Reporting for duty. Must move quickly. Well, let's see what Trump draws here. Trump needs something. What's his worst draw? The trail? Pit Snake. Pit Snake He's is played awful. That, played yeah. that already, right? Uh, turn one? Oh yeah, that's right. I think he might have been turn one into the Argent Lands. Um, he didn't pick up any other one drops, I don't think. There's probably some janky two drop because he he was starving for two drops. The Feist Ringleader might be one of those. The oil is a ton of damage. So if you re-dagger an oil, how much is that? So you got four, ten, you got seventeen. Good thing he played the Guardian. Good thing he played the Guardian. He was dead. Hmm? If Strive Crow didn't play the Guardian of Kings, he was dead to the oil. So how much is Guardian Hill for again? Six? Six, yeah. He would have had 16? Yep. Well, Trump only would have had... I mean, uh, 15. He can't combo the oil. Just well, gets four, four damage dagger. And oh, then, oh, and buffs the guy. And buffs the guy, yeah, by, by so two. So 14, 17. Yeah, yeah, okay. Trump is thinking. Smart. I mean, I really like just going all in to face. Like, you still keep the dagger and you put your opponent pretty low on health. The issue is he's going to be on five, which is exactly out of range Smirk or no of, your, of your weapon, right? So if you go full face, then you hope that Strife Crow never has any more healing. So no true silver, no taunts, nothing. So that's the the way to set up a two-turn lethal with the... Oh, he didn't, he didn't attack with the turn. Yeah, so he's setting up a two-turn lethal because otherwise uh, he messes out a little bit. Whereas now he's playing the board control. Wow! Oh. That's insane! But Trump can always combo the oil. So. Yeah, lots then of he'll, damage. He'll only in. have, what, nine next turn? Ten? Yep. Nine. Technically nine, right? Yeah, nine. But Perdition's Blade top deck. Uh, oh man, he'd be one off. <laughs> Wait, no, he'd get the extra one damage on the weapon. Yeah, Perdition's Blade top deck would actually do this. Uh, yeah, Perdition's Blade top deck for Trump is close. Lethal. Good lord. Alright, it all comes down to the next draw. Yeah, Perdition played. He's got a taunt or no? Heckler? Reporting for I'm not sure. I don't remember. Yeah, yeah, you gotta be kidding me. Here we go. Alright, Trump. Come on. Can you do this? Trump. Can you? What is it? I can't see it. His face should tell us. It doesn't look exciting. No. Yeah, it's not very exciting. Well, if. If. If the uh, oil hits his spider tank, which he has to, he has to drop the tomb pillager first. Mm -hmm. And 50-50 oil hits his spider tank, he can trade into the eight six with well his uh, six attack, and then he lives. Right, he he is able to live yeah. seven eight nine ten. So yeah, he can live. Trump, Trump has to recognize it. There's only only thing he can do: tomb pillager, you oil. You hope it hits the three three, Thank kill the eight six. Yeah. Here we go. Does Trump do it? And, and his face says it. yes. Okay. okay. Game goes on. And uh, it's probably just going to be a full face turn. There's nothing else to do. Unless you want to wait. He did skip a Blade Flurry earlier for the second Perdition's Blade, which I think was the correct decision given that there were no deadly poisons. Um, but it does feel a bit clunky in this spot. Let's let's what, do it, Trump. What card? Can, can he draw any card next turn to just win? Uh, so you go four for face. Like he's pr sprinting to Perdition's Blade. Would that do it? So you hit for four, you bring you him down to three, you get only two damage off of it. He doesn't have a vis. Oh! oh! That's it. Okay. That's exact lethal. Yep. Twelve. And, uh... The Strive Crow will take it over Trump's overpowered rogue. Um, so apparently Tiny Finn was not sufficient, Red Wolf. That would've been interesting if the one damage extra he took for one turn. Had been relevant, I'd be yeah. But no skill. Right. Hmm. Um, Nobody needs skill for Hearthstone, you just play cards. That's not nice. Trump is... They're having really, a good time. <laughs> Trump, Trump really is like, time. I sure, I, like, Trump is laughing, but I, I can tell it's not a real know, laugh. I think they have bagels out there. Bagels? Yeah, well, they're supposed to. They were having a really good time. They, they can't, there's no way they didn't eat, right? 
Bagels, basically. They ate something. No, no, bagels. Something. How could you be happy without bagels? Mm. I mean, I've done it before. Um, oh, a little anecdote, which you probably don't give a crap about, but... Let's go. Um, my, my crab in WoW, when I was playing Hunter, was named Bagel. Wow. I just thought I'd let you know. Do you think that Blizzard should uh, release official servers of the old expansions? I think vanilla WoW servers... Um, TBC, would, TBC, Wrath, Wrath, and Vanilla. They could skip Kata and maybe delete the source code from Kata onwards uh, and release the old stuff. And I think I'd play that, you know? They could even like include Hearthstone in it. You could play it on the client. Quality of life change. So Trump is smiling, a smile of, uh, of sadness. What if you played Hearthstone to level an MMO character? That's what I'm thinking right now. Level 60 character, level 60 hero. You level your hero in WoW. Uh, in Hearthstone, you level it in WoW. Cross promotion at its finest. And then if you buy, like, enough card packs, you get, like, a golden mount. Or you get, like, the derp steed. If you buy enough fanatic gear... You can get legend, too. You can become legendary. And if someone ends up watching on YouTube in the future... Buy that gear. Thanks, Twitch. Thanks, Twitch. For sponsoring. And most, most importantly, Fnatic gear. Yeah, most importantly, Fnatic gear. Are these bagels? Pizza. I don't That's want it. pizza, man. I want like wheat, wheat bagels backspace. That's not happening. What? Not, not you happening. you all went out. I, I went out. Dude, I. Did Amaz not tell you? Wheat bagels. Wheat ba specifically, yeah, it's pretty simple. Well, that pizza looks okay. Okay. Uh, but it's actually completely vegan. So. Perfect. Yeah. Thanks. Okay. <laughs> Have a nice one. So back to the game, guys. We so got we're pizza now. Pizza. Yeah, we were con considering. Are we happy now? It's okay. Not, I, I would rather surprised. have wheat bagels, but it's a little messy. Yeah, it's pizza. It's a vegan. Am I a crip or something? You are. So oh, we're missing the game. Pizza. Like, it's, it's all right, man. It's vegetables. It's not gonna kill you. I promise. Yeah, let's do this. There's um no way I'm gonna be able to eat this. We can't even get it out. <laughs> yeah, that's what she said. So I feel like. What is on this, even? There's wait, cheese, wait, wait, how's wait. that vegan? What? So it's not really cheese. <laughs> wait, do we eat this? Chat? <laughs> Silver Moon. Vegan pizza. Uh, oh my god, I don't know if I'm gonna put this in my mouth. That's what she said. I don't know, man. I'm actually I really feel... scared. Yeah, me too. Well, I got a half that... I'm going in. That's him smacking. That's the loudest chewing I've ever heard. Well, it's it's in it's not intentional. Oh. Okay. Interesting. Hmm. That's all right. So here we have Hearthstone. Yeah. Um, great play there by Trump. Um, playing the problem here Guardian. is he really wants to ping. So who's where? Okay, Strife goes bottom, right? Trump's always top. The Silver Moon forced the ping, and he really wanted to drop a four drop. Yeah, he wanted to really play that four drop, but he gets to develop a two drop at the same time against a deck that is. Probably not capable of handling this. Like, this is Arena, so you don't always have the perfect answer, and you're forcing trades by pinging and playing a two drop anyway. That min maxing face attack. He's yep. saying, I don't think you can punish this. And he's right. There's no real way to punish this. I guess you could technically polymorph like a one drop, and then trade away to 3 3 into the 1 1, and then force the trade again on uh, the opponent's side, but don't think that would work. Rekful is washing his hands from all the pizza. And I'm gonna do the same in a second. So, bear with me. Watch face. Alright, bear with me. Okay, so I kinda like the play that Trump made. You're gonna love this, Rekful. It's beautiful. You just dropped the cloud here, please? Nope. Oh, that, Trump. Sorry. That is Rekro. Wow. I spilled a little pizza on Leonardo's sword on my Ninja Turtle pajamas. But we'll be okay. Oh. Okay, yeah. so I think... There was a ping plus a trade, and then this we'll have a ping, was developed. We'll have a ping coin yeti here. I'm actually surprised he hasn't done it yet. What do you think? What do you think he's thinking about? Um, ping coin spider, yeti? He might be thinking about, like, spider tank ping and keep the coin, but... Like, that, what that allows you to do is go for turn it's 6, Carly Rider, Ping, Coin, and then yeah. maybe that gives you a bit of a better board. Mm -hmm. And the upside as well is, like, you can also ignore this card Crusader and force your opponent 
to uh, waste two of his mana on turn six. So you, you keep putting each other on the same spot of like, I want to play a minion plus ping, but I can't. Well, Flame Lance can punish this, so... It's alright. Do you Flame Lance this? It's you know punish, you, it's yeah. just... Do, what do you think about just playing the... Like the Arc Mage, minion. right? Like, it does better. Uh, any spells, you lose the tempo. But you do... Oh, now he can Dark Iron and ping. He's in a good spot, because... And he's forcing his opponent to ping. Yeah. Because turn 7, you don't want to run into Flame Strike. What's this? Chicken and garlic. Chicken and garlic right now for More pizza. Yes, more pizza. Okay. Everybody eat pizza. Let's eat pizza together, chat. P I Z Z A. Wait, is this still vegan? No, there's cheese on it and chicken. It's rarely vegan. However. I was trolling. No, you weren't. There was chicken. He yeah, said there's chicken. Red full, red full. I wasn't trolling? Okay. No, you weren't. How could you be? Okay. I'm just pretending to be retarded, XD. <laughs> XD. Joke's on you. It didn't get a pit snake. Yeah, it did not get a pit snake. Did, however, get an elven archer for that inevitable youthful brewmaster turn. And here we see the strength of the not playing Kvaldia Raider before pinging. What was the point of that exactly? Nice job, Stripe Crow. Look at that reaction! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, gonna, now gonna... I'll pretend you want to do that as ethereal. You gotta play through. Although you would play now. ethereal first anyway. Yeah, you would still do this first. Either way. Yeah, because what if you pick up like a Frostbolt? It looked like a cheer, but his face said mistake. So it's kind of like a cheerful mistake. Kind of like the mistake the Strap Girl makes. He's always smiling. He's just a happy little panda. Yeah. I like Koala Bear better, but I'll take panda. Hmm. Strap Girl was telling me he hasn't been playing much Hearthstone. He's just waiting for the new it's card, so he's a little, a little rough, you know? Yeah. I can blame him. I think a lot of people right now just uh, want to play fun stuff. Like, if you notice the ladder, right? It's a lot less. Um, I feel like I, I run into a lot of more jank because people are bored. Mm -hmm. A lot more decks. Like before, I think about two weeks ago, people were playing just meta decks, Secret Paladin all over the place, Agro Shaman, Druid, and nothing else. And now it's pretty much uh, a mix of really janky decks. Oh, Polymorph Four would be pretty good here. Yep. Pretty sick. Even like an ice lance would be good enough. Wait, I can't see the discover. You can't. Wait, why can't we see it? Oh, you can't see it in spectator client? It might just be a glitch of spectator mode. Oh, yeah, Whoa, you board. picked it up. I guess you ignore the board then, right? Oh, you, oh, you, no, you, you lose a six feet. That's right. Yeah. Never mind. Yeah, never mind. You did. A Nixia. Good oh. thing our gang explosions in there. This could have been a disaster. Wow. This could have been Our a disaster. Our explosion's so good here. Yeah, with the ping, you Is kill everything. Ping go with a 6-3. Oh my god, perfect curve with the Gvaldi Raider, too. And down goes Anixia. This is gonna be pretty nuts. Looks like Strafko's taking a solid command of the board when Trump thought he could carry the wind. What were the other like legendary options? Dragon. Oh yeah, Trogzor. Trogzor and... Trogzor would've just died in the 6 though. Something else. What was it? I forget what it was. The other one wasn't good, I think. But Trogzor would have just died of the 6-3. Yeah. It's only good if you're ahead. That's a win more. It's like a, a Lothab that can't save you. Strifeco is freaking out right now, and You're I don't so know happy. why. He's He's like, thank god I took Arcane Explosion. But that's interesting, I... Oh, he stopped freaking out. I don't he know why. He was really freaking out there. Yeah, I don't know why. I... Oh, he, well, he wants to get Koldardrig value? Oh man, he's about to get it too. You <laughs> just play two minions, trade this away. If the Koldar Drake lives, mm -hmm. <laughs> but it's not. It's just gonna turn into a sheep. If it lived, it would have been over. Hmm. Unless Trump goes to read mode, nah. There's no way. He might even pick up an owl for good measure. Actually, what beast would be good here? Well, uh, um... tiger for later. For much later. A beast you'd like to youthful. Another tomb spider, I guess. Hmm. Iron for grizzlies, okay. Strife Girl's doing something with his fingers. We don't know what it is. Calculating. Noxious is doing something with his fingers, too. He's eating vegan pizza. Yeah. All right, show your support in the chat for whether you're for or against vegan pizza, actually. Yep. What, what do they tell So, uh, hmm. Dan's game if you're against. 
Yeah, and what face if you're four? Wait, why what face for four? Well, it's like, I hate non-vegan pizza. No, 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 if you like it, you gotta like... Pog champ? Yeah, Pog champ. Okay, feels good, man, too. Pretty good. Yeah. That's better Twitch, and I guess there are humans out there who don't have better Twitch. <laughs> That's right. Yeah. yeah. It feels good, man. So, no demon to use Lice Champion on, because nobody drafted Warlock, and nobody found Illidan, and nobody got Jaraxxus from Unstable Portal, and taunted it up. <laughs> so... <laughs> that, was, that was a good example. <laughs> it's like no world in which that card does anything. Nobody got access <laughs> from a single portal and talked it up. <laughs> so this could still go in Trump's favor, right? If Strife Pro doesn't catch up. Trump has a, does Trump has a flame strike or is that Strife Crow the flame strike? Because I remember he skipped a th Stripe second Crow, second strike. ethereal conjurer for it, right? Mm -hmm. Finally, a second chance. No. Noxious is wiping his hands with toilet paper right now. Like to That's really ugly. <laughs> I don't have wipes. Bad wipes. Everything's better with water. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, now it's anyone's game, really. Yeah, it feels like it doesn't take too much for Trump to come back in, like one big play. And that's all. Like, the Vaughn hero looks good, but without the mm. Cold Art Drake, it does, like, just a single kill on something like Youth. Trump's Think scared of the last card being flame strike maybe. Yeah, he's got to be worried about what this is because if it's a spell that's situationally good, like even just being able to enable the pyro to kill what comes out of the hunt creeper is good enough. Because whatever he plays here, he knows something gets pinged. If he vomits everything on the board, then he gets punished by flame strike. But if he does and there's no flame strike, then the trades for strike grow a little bit more inefficient. So, Kraken's Ooh. good. Good pick up there for Strife Go. Okay, so you crack in the spider tank, and you trade the 3-1 to the 3-2, and Fallen Hero goes to base. Yeah. Seems pretty, pretty good to me. Trump is smiling still, although there's no good reason for that. Unless uh, Strife Crow's face makes him Drawing smile. Drawing Kraken there was a good play. Yeah. Expert play there by uh, <laughs> Life Drive Pro. Mastering the art of drawing properly. Ventricle Mercenary, another bomb. Here we go. Another bomb. Boom. Well done. Face time. Get some smorks in the chat. Yeah, when, when, like in arena, it happens way too often where the proper play is just ignoring everything because you're both top decking. Does Trump have like a cone of cold? To buy himself a turn. I remember him possibly drafting it, but he, I think he picked middle. No, he picked. Yeah, he picked the blind middle. Yeah, this is not He's a card. He's gonna ping his loot hoarder. It's the only play. Does he have a blizzard? If I, roll I don't know. Was he the one who picked up a blizzard earlier? Here we go. Loot hoarder is getting pinged. I'm gonna find out what's in there. It's gonna be a scarab what's into in a chest? nova. Let's do this. What's in the chest? Uh, no, no beast with taunt at uh, two mana. Is there even one? Nah. Uh, oh, the beast is in there. Well Discover the beast. 2 0 for Strive Pro. And Trump goes down. Oh, if, if it's going to show us, we can show the vegan pizza. What's left of it? Scary. Everyone gets scared. Actually, it looks got good. On the, it looks better on the camera. <laughs> I'm not sure about that, in man. In real life, it does not look fun. Well, it looks like you. Nobody's could... having fun. Not this pizza, at least. I mean, yeah, looks like uh, we're having a hard time here, but we would like to thank our sponsors, Fanatic Gear, Twitch, and Bean Boozled Jelly Belly. Wow, we're the best. You're the best. So apparently we've got a giveaway, guys, so if you guys want to get a chance to uh, get some Fanatic Gear, which of course um, you do. 
You just have to try to guess who's gonna get the most Moz points by the end of day one. You just tweet, go at player name, whoever it is, at Fnatic Gear, at Team Archon, at Archon Moz HS, and one person will successfully receive the grand prize. And there's gonna be a lot of cool stuff. And you can also buy yourself some cool Fnatic gear on shop.fnatic.com. Five percent off. Use the code Archon, and Moz is right here. What are you What are you looking at? Say hello. Th thanks for thanks for tweeting me, guys. It's a pleasure. We we realize how stuck you were in there. It was really really cramped. And we're helping you get out. I'm I'm, I'm coming out too. Okay. Together. I'm not aware. Okay. We can hold hands. I see, I see it's in kumbaya. Yeah. Okay. All right. So uh, we're gonna yeah we're gonna post this on my Twitter. Yes. So if if you did, if you miss out the image, I'm gonna post it there. Right. And I'm pretty sure Nauseous and Rafa are both gonna enter this too. Who do you think is gonna win? I think. I want to give Shocky a shot. Because okay. he's doing well so far, but you know, it's really early in the later rounds, we'll give you a ton more points in this. That's true. We know that for a fact, yeah. so who, who do you bet's going to have, like, the best score? Hmm. Uh, I have to end it today. I'm trying to think who was good at the Jeopardy practice yesterday. Uh, hmm. I know Zelay practiced a lot, like, a little bit, so maybe he, like, he lost his first air. Strife Crow was good at it. Is he? I'm going with Strife Crow. Okay, okay. Strife yeah. Crow does. Koala Bear. That's I'm gonna, I'm going to go uh, Zelay. All right. I vote yeah. for Zelay. Hopefully you guys win the uh, gear, then. I want to you laugh because it doesn't actually exist. Oh, it's the Maz. Oh, uh, okay. I hit your bald spot. Okay, Schen we'll be back soon. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. <laughs>